Hey and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make um, an SVG cut file in Adobe Illustrator. And this is a file you can use in your Cricut. I'm pretty sure you can use it in a Silhouette machine too. Um, but it's really easy once you get once you get the gist of it, it's pretty easy to do. So first you're going to go to Create New on your Adobe Illustrator. You're going to choose whatever um, size artboard you want. I'm just going to pick this one. Create. And of course there were settings back there that you could change too depending on how you wanted everything. But I'm just, I'm fine using it like this because I can resize the SVG without needing the artboard. So I'm going to make words as an SVG real quick here. So I'm going to go over here to the type tool. I'm going to click. And it's going to pop up this little box around the cursor. And you can see there's a line in it. I'm going to just tap. I don't want to draw a box because I want to be able to size my text without having to go in and do it separately. So I'm going to backspace and I'm going to type, let's see, cute. Let's see, I'm, I want to do um, an SVG that has a few different fonts. So I'm going to do this and I'm going, I'm holding shift and pulling on the corner to resize the entire thing equally. And I'm going to do cute. I'm going to change the type over here by clicking the drop down arrow. And I have a few of my, um, I have a few other fonts that are separate that I've got uploaded in here that I've got through my um, Creative Cloud subscription. But most of these are probably things you can find just pre-built in, pre in your Illustrator. So let's see, I want something curly. I'm going to go to filters. I'm going to choose a script, flowing or calligraphic. And these are all extra steps if you want, if you just want your SVG to look different. The basics are um, going to be coming up right here. So this is just what you do if you are going to make a word SVG. So I'm going to do cute down here, but psycho. Something I've seen that I just think is funny. So, and again, I'm holding shift and dragging at the corners to resize this equally. I'm going to change this font. Actually, I think I'm going to change the word but. I'm going to change that to a different font, and I want that to be something um, simple. So let's go to sans serif, without serif, and see this is all pretty simple um, types. So let's move that one down. This, and again, shift in the corner to change the size, and I'm arranging this just how I like it. And now, okay, an easy, um, if you want swirls and things like that around your text, something really easy to find that is, um, I'm going to type ABC using the type tool, or the text tool, what is it called, type tool, shift and enlarge, and so there's a font actually built into your program that you can make swirls with. So I think it's in decorative down here. You're going to sort by decorative and filter it that way. It's not that. Let's see. Scroll down, scroll down. And I type, a I just type ABC or anything really just so that I can see. Um, I can see, I can, when I hover over these different fonts, I can see a sample of it. And so I just do that so that I can see when I'm coming up to um, the swirly font. So see here some, um, there's a few others, let's see, I need to find the one that I like in here, um, here's a few others too, they aren't swirls but they're just fun shapes like that, and those are easy to convert into your SVG. Um, banners, let's see. So here's something like that too. So let's just take this and I'm using my arrow to go back around the one I don't want. D, there we go. Okay. So I just type different letters. Each letter is a different shape. So now I'm going to pull on this. I'm not using shift this time because I want it to resize so that I can fit the word psycho in it. Or maybe, maybe I should do butt. We're going to do butt in there. Um, no. We're going to do cute. Cute is going to go inside my box here. I'm using my black um, selection tool. The black selection tool will let you select whole pieces, so like this. 
and the white selection tool, it won't do anything right now because I don't have any um, drawings on my board, but it will let you choose specific points. But I'm using the black tool because that's what I need to do is I need to select exactly what I want. Okay, so I'm going to put this where I want it and then I'm going to hit control and then the number two because that locks it. Now see, I can't pick it when I'm trying to click on it and that also helps because I can't move it on accident trying to pick my word. So I've got, let's see, I'm sizing this up to get it in there. I'm using the arrow keys and moving it up just a touch and down and getting it in where I want it. Okay, and then, but let's give this a little rotate here and I'm going to go down to this corner here and you can see that my cursor turns into a little rounded, um, a rounded line with arrows on it. I'm going to just tilt it by holding down my arrow key, fit it in there, and then I'm moving Psycho back in. And so you can see this is not this is a little bit of an interesting SVG, but I'm just doing this more to show everyone. Um, so now I'm going to go up to the top of my screen, and you can't see it up there I don't think, but I'm going to go to, let's see, Object, and then Unlock All. There's key commands to that too, but um, I know how to do it that way. So I'm going to select over all of this by holding and dragging. You can see it's all selected, it's all got blue lines under it. Now I'm going to go down here. Because this is all type, I can go onto my right side down here and go quick actions and it's create outlines. Or um, this may be something I've set after. And so I can go to type up in the top um, on the left. Next, to, It's in between object and select on my monitor. And I can click create outlines, which I deselected now because I clicked the outside of the art, um, the art board. But when I have everything selected, I can do create outlines from there. So type create outlines. Now I'm going to go back and select all of this and scroll down on my right create outlines and you can see it's all outlined in blue but you can see too that see like let's zoom in I'm gonna zoom in here you can see that like the U cuts into the U the C cuts into the U um, and they're all separate shapes so I'm gonna zoom back out I'm going to go down here to Pathfinder and click unite and you can do that up here I believe in object or window maybe um, blend um, it's not blend you can find it um, in one of these menus as well but this is how I do it easiest so I zoom out and you see it's all one piece if I click anywhere on this it's one piece it selects everything so now I'm going to go up to file save as and I'm going to save it as a dot SVG file I'm going to go ahead and just save it to my desktop name it cute but psycho and save and I'm just gonna hit OK now I'm gonna go down here to my Cricut program that I have minimized here I'm gonna show you how to upload these designs into Cricut so you're gonna go to upload I was in the canvas there you're gonna go to upload upload image browse and then you're going to choose the name of the SVG you want uh, cute but psycho and it's going to take a minute there we go okay so you can see it's uploaded here and this is the preview I have so I'm gonna hit upload and it will go into my canvas and then you can see this is something I like to do um, I sell my designs on Etsy and so this is something I like to do before I post anything is make sure that it actually is one piece and will cut the right way how I want it um, before I put it for sale and you'll see no it is not right let's see okay so these are all these different dots here so we're gonna go back over to Adobe Illustrator and I'm gonna hit unite again oh here's what I forgot okay so you're gonna go to object in the top left and you're going to hit compound path make and that makes this one compound path. Now I'm going to save this as, and I'm just going to write right over the um, file I already saved. And go back and do the same process in Cricut. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to go to upload. Upload my image. Browse. 
scroll until I find my cute butt psycho. Upload. And add to canvas. So you can see now it's all one piece. So again, back to this, it's going to be, let me show you. We're gonna take this off and just get rid of this. Right, backspacing. I'm gonna type out these here for you guys so you can see it just a little bit easier. So you're going to create using the text tool. Select all on the screen. Then you're going to um, create outlines. Right hand or type and then create And then you're going to Pathfinder Unite, which is also on the right hand side of your screen. And then you're going to go up to Object. And then um, Compound Path. And then Make. And then that will have you, um, that will get you all of your. SVGs. Now, sometimes there are um, glitches and things where your SVG might not come out perfect and it won't want to cut in one piece. Um, usually, you can just go back and unite it, create outlines, um, things like that, and try and troubleshoot it. But for the most part, this should work to create your SVG for your Cricut. So, again, create with using the text tool, um, select everything that you want turned into an SVG. Then you are going to select create outlines down here on the bottom right. Then um, do the pathfinder tool. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and just create outlines so you guys can see one more time. Create outlines, you can see it's all outlined in blue. Going down here to the pathfinder, unite. And it might take a minute, there we go. Just needs to take its own sweet time sometimes. But once it's done, we're going to go up here to Object, Compound Path, Make. And that's going to make it into our file that we want um, that we want to cut on the Cricut. So once you've done all of that, then you're going to just export it, or and actually you'll save it as an SVG, and you can upload it into your Cricut program. So hope that helps. Um, please subscribe and please comment if you do want me to show you how to do other things in Adobe Illustrator. Um, I would definitely suggest getting Creative Cloud for um, just for your different, um, your more fonts and things like that. I would suggest getting it if you are interested. Um, but please, please, please let me know if you um, if you want to see any more how to's on Adobe Illustrator, and please subscribe and comment down below and like this video to help me out. Thank you so much for watching, and um, let's hope to see you next time. Bye.